Hello, my name is Nathan Locksog. I'm an assistant professor of ocean engineering in the Department of Mechanical Engineering here at UNH. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of my research. The ocean is a vast, vibrant, dynamic environment. A crucial component of our understanding its dynamics lies in describing the interaction of the ocean with the atmosphere. Now these interactions have large scale consequences, but they're generally mediated by processes on the scale of individual surface waves. This is well below the resolution of our weather and climate models. An additional complication is that our observational techniques tend to give either a 1D time series, say from a fixed sensor, or a snapshot, say from a satellite. This limits our understanding of the relevant physical phenomena and constrains our ability to validate numerical models. As an example, let's look at a wave buoy. Wave buoys record and telemeter surface wave kinematics at a single point. They can sit out in the ocean for years, giving us long time series of wave conditions at their location. This is a 20 minute segment of the water surface vertical displacement data observed by a buoy. What these buoys do not give us, however, is a direct view of the full wave field around them. We have ways of interpreting the data recorded at one point to infer directional characteristics, but there are substantial limitations to these approaches. At this point, I'm going to tell you what I personally worked on in the past. Two years ago, I was part of a field observational campaign with Dr. Chris Zappa at Columbia University. We outfitted the Air Sea Interaction Tower south of Martha's Vineyard with a number of instruments, among them a polarimetric camera. The polarimetric camera allows us to observe the spatiotemporal evolution of the sea surface topography within its optical field of view. Here's a representative example of the surface wave information we can access using this instrument. Millimeter scale resolution in length and height over a meter scale footprint. Now that field of view is too small for us to describe the larger surface gravity waves which are directly relevant for coastal and ocean engineering applications. For this reason, I'm looking to deploy the sensing capability on a stable, remotely piloted airborne platform. A multi-rotor unoccupied air aerial system would give us synoptic measurement capability of the surface wave field development in space and time. This really expands the scope of research that can be performed by our group and opens the door to future collaborations. Now with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. If you'd like to learn, learn more about our research group, what we do, um, this QR code will take you to our website. Have a great day.